Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I'm going to attempt to show you. I actually uh, saw somebody else do this on the internet, but he doesn't do any talking, and I'm going to simplify it a little bit. So we're going to take that epilogue laser. I'm going to go up to object, and I'm going to go to group, and I'm going to group it together. Then I'm actually going to make a copy of it and just move it over here. We're going to write on a cylinder. Pretty neat trick. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab this and we're going to grab the envelope tool and, and what I'm going to immediately do is take away the center nodes. But then I'm going to click on that line and I'm going to make it a line. Convert that one to a line. I'm going to click, you're going to get a red dot and convert it to a line. That's going to keep it a, a line on top. So we're going to put this first one right there. We're going to put the second one right there. Just kind of getting it close for right now. I'm actually going to do a little bit different than he did. but he And he did a great job. Uh, I uh, kind of stole his idea. But what we're going to do now is grab this and we're going to put it to the inside shape. And what I'm going to do a little bit different, he had it like where you could read uh, both texts from the inside or you know like you could see through it so it takes just a little bit of manipulation to get it kind of close to that ring and that's pretty good and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge that one out of the way and I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to grab the envelope tool and I'm not going to be too concerned about some of it because I'm going to do a little bit different but I'm going to take away the center nodes and I'm going to click on it and make it a line click on this you got to make sure you get that whoop, get that little dot and make it a line. And then we're, I should have actually got it closer, but we're now we're going to click on here and there and bring these lines up. Now he did it where he had uh, the whole thing, but what I'm going to do is just make this first part. where you can't read the other letters. So it'll look like, kind of look like you can see, you can't see through it. So what we need to do now is I need to take this, nudge it out of the way, and I need to take that circle. And I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool to make a new circle. Well, it's an extrude, so it won't really work. So what we can do now is uh, break the extrude apart that should leave us a circle. Yes. And I can nudge that circle over. And now I am going to intersect. And now I've just got that circle. Now when I put these two together, we'll actually make this one maybe blue on the inside and no outline. And then when we put that back, it appears that you've written on the inside and the outside of a cylinder. Then you could tweak a little bit, you know, look real close. Uh, we're pretty good to the line, get your shape tool. Again, that's one thing neat about the envelope tool. You can tweak it afterwards and get that line, kind of make sure it's on that, covering up the blue. And that appears that well, at least to me it does, that you're riding on a, um, a spear or a cylinder. Let's move our, let's see if we can't take our extrude. Tell you what, let's take our virtual segment delete key and delete that line. And you could do several things with this. And because we've nudged, well, evidently I must have moved that without nudging, but we could put it pretty close. And that outline is going to kind of, you know, give you a more definition. I'm not, that's why you don't ever want to move. You want to nudge. Anyway, that's a pretty cool effect. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.